What, what am I remothering? And for me, it's even in the class, I ask people to get a picture of their inner child. I ask people to, get, to pull out a picture of yourself when you're three, four or five, make it real. You are remothering that aspect of you, that part of you that has downloaded and recorded all of the perceptions and the experiences that you've experienced, all of the wounds, all of the cravings, all of the needs, all of the, you know, a two-year-old child sees a situation between mom and dad very differently than a five-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 15-year-old. And many of our wounds were created from before utero and up until about the age of seven. And we, our wounds are really connected to when we felt the most unsafe as a child or the most vulnerable. So obviously, if I'm one, I feel so much more unsafe and powerless than a 10 year old. Mm -hmm. And so I want to appreciate the perspective of the one year old or the two year old or the three year old or the four year old, because that's less la left a lasting impression. And that impression develops some thought process along the line that I have yet and belief system eventually, and habits of behavior that are now automatic that I've yet to address. And so if I look at my life and I say, my relationships aren't where I want them to be. I'm perfectionistic. I'm run down. I love too much. I overshare. I feel over-responsible. I'm not taking care of myself. I feel like a doormat. I don't know how to say no. I identify these experiences as the taking me in a, down a path I don't want to go. It's not going to end well. So healing the inner child allows me to heal the feelings, beliefs, and eventually acknowledge the behaviors that are taking me down this path. And so if I am a perfectionist because I learned that love was conditional, then I speak to the inner child and I help that, help that my inner child recognize that you, sh you never had to do anything to gain love. You should not have had to do anything to gain love, but somewhere in the line, you learned that you did. And that's why this has happened. But I, as your higher self, want you to know that I love you just the way you are. Mm. Thanks. So if I am someone who lacks a sense of self and feels like I am in my power when I'm serving, then I will naturally attract someone who takes. Mm when you're saying we're creating our experience like so if you are with someone who has healthy boundaries and doesn't want that that won't feel right until you've done right. the work it won't feel right to your system right it won't feel right it won't resonate and you will move on into a situation that feels more like a hand in a glove even if it's dysfunctional mm. because it's resonance it's it's a familiar excites you there's a chemical response this is familiar and then if I'm chasing, but having boundaries, because my family had a, had a way of crossing boundaries. And once, once I remothered myself and protected my inner child mm. and I developed those boundaries, it was like, you know, me protecting little Lisa, it was, they could sense that energy. And it, my mother was no longer my mother in a way, she was my equal. And so I saw her as a woman. And she understood there's no more hierarchy here. You and I are equal. I love you, you are my mother, but if we're gonna share space and time, there's gonna be a level of respect, even if you don't get me, because I love you and I know you don't get me, but I need that in return. And if you cross that boundary and I need to mother myself now, because you're not mothering me, I'm gonna love you anyway, but I'm gonna choose me. And I'm going to protect this space for me and my inner child so I can continue growing in love and in light, not judging you. I accept where you are, but no more of me trying to prove to you that this is the way, no more of me trying to tone myself down so you could feel big and strong. No more. Those days are over. So that's the benefit of really remothering yourself, resurrecting, breathe. It's CPR on the inner child, man. Like mm -hmm. love the inner child, like come up, come up, come up. It's okay. And we're together in this. It's just such a beautiful experience.